In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for March 10th, 2023. And with this problem, we are given a function g of x, and this is a quadratic function, and we need to find g of negative 4. So essentially, we need to understand function notation and how to evaluate functions at particular points. And it does depend on what school you go to. So this could be taught in Algebra 1, but it might be taught in Algebra 2 or maybe even pre-calculus. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have at least attempted the problem, we can start going through this. And if you do have suggestions for future questions of the day, feel free to leave those as a comment. And we can start by just rewriting this function here, that g of x is minus x squared plus 3. And when evaluating functions, we need to find g of minus 4. Notice that in the general function, we replace this x with negative 4. And that's all this notation means, is we want to evaluate this particular equation at a very specific x value. Since if we just use y instead of g of x, since these are actually equal, g of x will give us the y value when we plot this. But if we use y instead of this function notation, it's difficult to evaluate this at particular x values. If we want to know what y is when x is, say, 2, then we might have to actually write out that statement. But by writing g of 2, that would capture that information all in one. This is essentially saying, what is the y value when the x value is equal to 2? And likewise, this g of minus 4 is similar to this. We are asking, what is the y value when x is negative 4? When we plug in negative 4 to this function here, what do we get back out? So let's actually try that. Anywhere we see an x, we will replace it with negative 4. And... One common mistake here is mixing up the negative signs. So we need to be careful. Whenever we substitute something in, my advice is to always put it in parentheses, especially if it's a negative number. But even if it's positive, it's a good habit to get into. So we substitute it in. X is negative 4. And now we just simplify. We have to square it first before taking its opposite, since we need to carry out our order of operations. And minus 4 squared, we can just rewrite it twice, minus 4 times by minus 4. And we'll just bring the plus 3 at the end. Minus 4 times minus 4 is positive 16. So these simplify to positive 16, and then we will take its opposite. So we have minus 16 plus 3, and this simplifies to negative 13. So this right here should be our final answer. 